what's this wall of light? The remnants of some spell? It looks like lights raining from the sky. Long ago, there was a fierce battle between mankind and a Screeper here. The Screeper was the size of a mountain and threatened all of humanity. When humans prayed for the God's blessing, a pillar of light fell from the sky and drove the Screeper underground. That's the legend, anyway. A pillar of light from the sky? Perhaps that's the weapon we're trying to restore. <laughs> that'd be something. This must be the vine Professor Pranagi mentioned. I'd say so. I've never seen vines like these. Let's split up to gather them. A girl? What's she doing here? Hey, Isaac! What's up? A kid? How did she get in there? Whoa! so easily maybe it can only be open from this side I see so she was shut in good thing for her we dropped by screepers Seldus take the kid go on little one we'll buy you time go now Are you all right, Isaac? We can't deal with this many of them. We should go.
We have the vines, Professor. Great work! Now we just need a power source. How did the scouts do? Not well. We found what seems to be an energy source, but it was drained. So, we need to find one with some energy left in it, do we? Hey, Isaac, where are you off to? Sorry. I'll be back later. Hey, Isaac! What's wrong with him? Maybe he wants to be alone. For now, I'll work on making mystic cables out of these vines you kids brought me. You'd better go see Vanette. They're waiting for you. Both of them. Uh-huh. Vanette! You'll wake our boy. Oh, uh, sorry. Hey there. Say hello to Daddy, okay? <laughs> He's a fine-looking boy. I'm proud, Vinette. We did well, Zeldas. But he needs a name. Do you have any ideas? I've had one in mind for a while, actually. What is it? Cryus. Cryus. It's got a strong, honest feel. A good name for our son. <laughs> See? Cryus likes the name, too. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, come see. What's wrong? We've heard the Cerilteon army is headed this way. Sir, what should we do? Cerilteans? Okay, I'll be right there. Dear? Shh, don't worry. I'll protect this place for you and our son. So, Cerilti is finally joining the fray. Grangale defeated Nalern just the other day. Cerilti is probably launching a preemptive maneuver before Grangale can invade them, too. We can't let them find this place. We'll have to distract them somehow. What's their position? Their command center is on Esther Road, sir. They're sending out scout patrol units from there. We'll strike there, then and have them recall their scouts. I wish Isaac was here for this, but what's done is done. We'll use the West Corridor to flank them. Prepare soldiers versed in magical combat. Sir! You should prepare too, Lord Seldis. Give us our orders once you're ready. Lord Seldis, the Cerultian camp is due east from here, sir. Judging by the way they're outfitted, their soldiers have joined the scouts. Then now's the time to strike. Show me how they're situated. Their camp is in a recession up ahead. There's a slope on either side of it to high ground. They number six soldiers and four steeds. All right, then. Here's the plan. The goal is to attack the Cerultians from the west forcing them to recall their scouts. We don't have much manpower, so we need to time this carefully. Yes, sir! I'll set fire to their supplies. Even if they don't notice, that's the signal to attack. Let's move out!
Aldous! Isaac, you came. I met Vanette on the way back. She told me what you were up to. You saw Vanette? Later, later! I'm here to help. You stay in. Don't tell me to go back. Now let's finish this. That went well. Yes. I doubt Cyriltia will be able to find us for a while. I'm glad we bought time to complete the weapon. The net! Oh, for God's sake. Let's go back.
Stay with me, Vanette. My dear, cry us. The world. I know. Bring peace to the children, please. I know. I will. Please, don't. End the war. Please, Zeldas. Vanette. That's right. We can't stop our investigation now. Thanks, Vanette. That's right. I hadn't realized it had been that long. We almost gave up after witnessing so many deaths. But you did what you set out to do. I'm proud of you. It wasn't just me. I only made it this far because of your help, Vanette. Thanks. You're welcome. So we're all looking for the same thing. I don't know if I'll make a good husband. I, I know I'll be busy. I'll be fine as long as I'm with you. I love you, Zeldas. But he needs a name. Do you have any ideas? Cryus. <laughs> See? Cryus likes the name too. <laughs> <laughs> Well? This dragon orb is amazing. Instead of absorbing mana, it takes energy directly from the ley lines. It outputs so much power, it took me a while to adjust. But I'm surprised you were able to find it. I never thought I'd see the legendary orb. Who are you really, Isaac? Where did you get this from? All I want is to end the war. That's how I'll honor my wife. As for the orb, I just knew where it was. Satisfied? You act like you know what it does, though. Uh... It taps into the Earth's energy, or the ley lines, as the Pothrads say. By controlling the ley lines, you could dominate the world. I see Pothradians know all about the orb's power. My question to you is, isn't it human nature to use such power for whatever you desire? Because I know what the orb can do, I'd never abuse it. Seldus. Is Vanette... I see. Professor, is the orb connected? Yes, I just finished the last details. Activate it now. Has there been any word from our envoys to Grand Gale or Cyriltia? None so far. And they don't seem eager to stand down either. Then we'll deliver an ultimatum. Understood. Let's head for the bridge then. Power output, green. Transmission, green. Control systems, green. All systems, green. Raise the admonisher. The admonisher, one who punishes. An appropriate name for the avenger of mankind's sins. that the weapon they mentioned? It's a bluff. We won't let them interfere with our mission. You! Hold that thing up so they can see it. Yes, sir. What's that? A man's head. It's our own voice. It seems they plan to go ahead with the war. So they think we're bluffing, huh? Well, let's show them how serious we are. And 
And that's that. Aim for the rear mountain. That won't be enough. A show of force doesn't mean a thing if they don't feel any pain. They won't care what happens to a mountain. But we mustn't take lives. Do you want the war to end or not? Once we fire, it'll take days to recharge the cannon. If our first round doesn't convince them, it's over. Isaac is right. We have to take some lives to save more. <sighs> Aim for the front lines of both armies. Roger, gauging target distance. Distance acquired. Focal length 2300. Target angle 30 degrees. Bring peace to the children. End the war. Please. Ready to fire. Wait. I'll pull the trigger. The responsibility for this will be mine. Very well. May this be the first and the last blast of this cannon. For the future! A new era shall begin, one without war. The Admonisher's cannon created a gigantic crater in the battlefield where Grango and Cyriltia clashed. The Cyriltians accepted the ultimatum and withdrew with light damage. However, Grango pursued the retreating army inflicting massive casualties. Seeing an opportunity in Grangel's losses, the Nalern army prepared a strike to take back their lands. Grangel too began preparations for what appeared to be the final battle between the two countries. It was clear to all that it would be a long, bloody battle. Seldus forced a ceasefire by using the threat of the Admonisher. As a concession to Grangel, the PMB forbade other countries to invade Nalern. In return, Grangel acknowledged the Nalern people's autonomous status. To prevent reprisals from within Nalern, the PMB granted their autonomy and guaranteed that Grangel would take no more of their home soil. The display of power convinced all of the Western countries, including Cyriltia, to accept Seldus's ultimatum and swear non-aggression pacts. Thus, the war that had held an entire continent in its grips for decades had finally come to an end. Seldus and Isaac established the Peace Maintenance Brigade. Under its watchful eyes, the nations convened for regular diplomatic peace talks.